I believe it's Satan's plan to get Christians to, to think that they're so humble and meek that they won't even say anything when, when wicked people are just pushing and trying to get their way and, and perverting minds and just, you know, trying to get you to shut up. Because that's how they'll, they'll act. And a lot of people these days, unfortunately, a lot, of, a lot of pastors, a lot of Christians, they are scared They've gotten to the point of now they're scared of what someone else might think or do or say if they were to speak up against, against wickedness, against the vile affections of the wicked that we see in our society today. People are being programmed into just being tolerant, just be accepting. Oh, you just need to love, 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 welcome anybody. And, and you know, you don't want to say anything that might turn somebody off or might offend somebody and make them not come to church. Well, what's the point of even coming to church then? If you're not going to say anything, think about this for a minute. Because people will say, well, yeah, but you don't want them to quit church. You don't want them to leave church. Look, I don't want anyone to, live, to quit church, to leave church. Right? I want people to come and to grow. But when you stop saying things that are going to offend people, you stop saying things that's going to maybe convict somebody about something that they're doing wrong, something that they're watching that's wrong, something that, you know, some aspect of their life where they're in sin. You stop saying those things because you're worried about offending them. You're worried about them maybe getting offended and not coming back to church. Then how are they even going to grow at all? So what? You get a bunch of people to come in here and, and sit around in a group and sing some songs and we can all just say how great everybody is, but there's going to be no growth. And what is the purpose at that point then? There's going to be no learning going on because as a pastor, then I'll have to just censor the Bible because I don't want to offend anybody. I'm going to have to censor the parts of the Bible that talk about hate. I'm going to censor the parts of the Bible that talk about sin and wickedness and fornication and adultery and all these things. Well, someone might be guilty of that. Uh, that's not my job to censor God's word. We're here to stand up for God's word, defend God's word, and boldly proclaim the word of God. Jesus said, you know, we need to be shouting it from the rooftops. We don't hide it under a bushel. We've got it, and we need to, to speak out about it because, you know what? The wicked, they are speaking very loud and trying to push their agenda and trying to get you to be ashamed or embarrassed for what you believe. I don't know about you, but I've had enough of, I've had enough of that. I decided a while ago I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna keep my mouth shut. We need to be in the fight.